Hi folks, Rick here. Welcome to my channel. Okay, well, today we're going to be talking about um, sizing your chain. So what I got here is a brand new Sunstar chains. It's their triple guard uh, model here for off-road racing. It's one of the best out there. But as most chains uh, do, they come in a standard size. So like I need a 98 link chain. This one here, uh, when I went on their website, it was um, either a 120 or a 100 link chain. So I obviously bought the 100, but that means I need to size it. So sometimes when you buy a chain, you might be able to find one that's pre-sized, like if you buy it from a, uh, you know, a motorcycle shop or something like that, you can ask them to go ahead and size it for you. But most of your chains are going to come in a standard size and you're going to have to size it yourself. Um, you know, and if you're into to, to riding and stuff like that or you're racing, you're going to need to know how to do this anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you how to do that. I've got a bunch of other chain videos. I'll put some links down in there as far as cleaning and checking them and protecting them and stuff like that. I just want to show you how to size these links right here. So a couple tools we're going to need. Uh, again, you could probably get away without special tools, but the tools for this thing are pretty cheap. So uh, again, if this is something here that you're going to do, then uh, you probably better just get the, these tools because it's going to make your life a lot easier for it. So the first thing here we're going to need, they call this one kind of like a chain breaker. So what this thing is going to do is it goes around these links here, like that kind of bites it. And then in the middle here, it's got a little pin that goes in here and basically pushes out these little pins right there, if you can see them. So it'll just press on them and push these out. And then that way you can remove this plate. The second thing you're going to need to do is get a chain press. So this chain press here actually presses these plates back on. So when you go to put your master link on, they typically have press on master link on there. So you'll need something to press this on with. This is a really cheap device. You can see here it's got these little grooves in it. Um, I pull them apart here with my hand. These little grooves right here, they go over top of these links. That keeps this thing centered. It presses this down squarely. It also prevents you from pressing it down too far. This model does here to squish your O-ring. So it's really helpful. Uh, it really just makes the job quicker, easy, and keeps you from destroying your chain. So with that there, again, these tools are really cheap. So the first thing we got to do is, for me, is I got to remove this link right here. When I get this off, I'll be at the right size. If you can see this here, though, it's very difficult to see, but you can see these are almost square. What they've been doing is they've been peened over. So what we want to do on this thing right here is instead of probably using our chain breaker here and really applying a lot of pressure, taking the chance of breaking some, is I'm going to grind these down just a little bit. And you got to be very careful not to hit your link here uh, in case you want to reuse some of this stuff. But um, I'm just going to grind the tops off. Then we're going to get the chain breaker and put it on there and pull those off. So let me go ahead and get reset. All right, here. So we're going to get the grinder going. Probably going to be kind of loud. We'll see how this goes here. Let me... Uh, adjust this a little bit. All right, so let's go here. Okay, 
So I didn't, be a, didn't do a very good job of being careful. So that's unfortunate. So what we want to do now, let's go ahead and put this over top of here. It just clamps on. Uh, well, it's hard to do here on this one here. It might have to go on top. But basically, it just clamps on over top. It's kind of self-centering. And then we're just going to twist this thing here. Hopefully, this has got what it takes to push itself out. Okay, let's see what that does. We'll put it over here on the other side. Looks like it's pushing out a little bit. Let's go ahead and get it adjusted here. And let's keep pushing it out here. There we go. All right, so I got one side off here. See that one? I just press that one off and I go back over here and just finish doing this one. There we go. So it's simple and easy. Just press this right off. Pull this off here. Pull these ones off. Now, you can see here it's got all these O rings and stuff on here. There's one more back here potentially. So I lost it. Let's see here. Yeah, put these back together here. So I'm just going to make sure I keep all these things. You never know when you, you might need another O-ring, but that's it. Now I've got a nice chain. Again, when we go to install our master link here, you'll need to press these on, but this is how you size it there. Again, I grounded down. I wasn't as safe as I was um, on these things. You can see I've chewed it up a little bit. It's not that bad. I probably should use a smaller grinder. But it's good to go. But that's how you size these things. It's very easy. Again, a couple of tools here you want to work with is this one here. And then again, you'll need this one here to press on your master link. Um, this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to go ahead and show you install. I've got install videos. Again, check down the body of the email. I'll have some install videos. I'll have some how to check your chain to see if it's worn and you need to replace it, whether you're chains and sprockets. Also got you know some maintenance, cleaning, that kind of stuff there as well. So check those videos out. But for today, I just wanted to show you how to cut your chain to the right size. In this case here, I just needed this one link off, and I'm in good shape. So with that, you all have a good day.